Hello, Privet, Assalamu Alaikum. Guys, welcome to another video. This week, I decided to start my journey by building at the Arctic Research Base. Now, here's a funny twist. My initial plan was to get BP so I could continue playing on this new server that I wanted to try out for the longest time, but I kinda miscalculated it because next week was the Force Wipe. Now with the force wipe, there was the cargo and harbor expansion, mini guns, military flamethrowers, and two new entrances to the small oil rig and large oil rig, mainly accessible through the underwater, you know, if you scuba dive in. Kinda interesting. And I kinda have my, you know, it's like a 50-50 for me, but my personal thoughts I will actually share to the end of the video. But for now, enjoy the video, and again, this video is split in two ways, with the first part of the video being the week before the first wipe. Now this entire video is recorded on one of my favorite servers, Blue Lagoon. Now making my way to the build spot, I still met a lot of people along the way, and feeling comfortable enough, I, you know, decided to go head on with them, and just show what I was capable of. Now after winning two bow fights and making my way to the top of the mountain, I was halfway through my journey. But before I make it to the top of the mountain, I have a special message to announce. Thank you Rust Clash for sponsoring this video. Rust Clash is a website where you can play unique game modes such as Battles, Roulette, Upgrader, Mines, my favorite one Plinko, Dice and the original cases. The best part is they also have a rain system every hour as well as a rake back and daily fruit cases depending on your level. Now to deposit you could use Ruskins, debit card and cryptocurrency, with cryptocurrency having 65% bonus and 0% withdrawal. Now if you wish to visit them, use my code Kano to get free daily cases. Now back to the video. Dude, oh, I almost cringed myself out, I was like, should I just say like, yo, this, this terrain is beautiful, oh my god, you know, like, amazing, this game, whoa, but you know, I'm gonna be real with it. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna say it. this game can be sometimes beautiful. I mean, I, I just gotta say it, you know. I don't wanna be cringe or something, but it is what it is. Now after a great run going from the fresh pond beach all the way to the build spot fighting numerous people, I finally made it. But this was not the end though, cause you know, I had to build the base and I kinda had to lock in and had to go fast because there was a lot of people coming my way. So I had to be fast as fuck boy.
Now in this point of time, there was a lot of groups that built near me. So what I did was I just waited throughout the night. So when they left the Arctic research base, I would go in there, just sneak my way in and try to find whatever I needed. And lucky to my surprise, I found exactly what I needed. Now you probably wonder, why was it that lucky though? Cause you know, my neighbors in front of my house, they actually did a lot of Arctic research. And I actually want to counter them, you know, as, as, as soon as I walked to their base. So that's exactly what I did. I just waited like a little rat just in, in my base and waiting for one of them to get back and just take their loot. Just snatch it real quick and just run back to my base. Now, I was looking back at the recording and I see I only took the rocket launcher and just ran for my life. I swear, I thought I took so much loot, but I only took a rocket launcher. I mean, oh, whatever, bro. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. It's not too bad, right? Now, the best part is coming because I happen to have a lot of scrap, which I could tech tree all the way to Python and snowball from there on. Bro, it just went so fast. You don't understand. This couldn't have been more perfect. There was a guy down next to me and it was just the perfect bait for me. I, I couldn't have wished for a better timing, honestly. I'm not gonna lie, looking back at this was kind of funny. The guy literally just shat his pants. Like he just started shooting everywhere. Oh my God. I felt bad for that guy. Now, I seen a helicopter land. I don't know if it crashed or if it just landed for their base because there was no base around. And then I quickly realized it was a cave base, you know? But since I had a tummy and there was two of them, full kit with AKs, I decided to do the wise thing and just wait a little bit, be a bit more patient. Because if you're experienced enough that you will know that if I went in with a Thompson, it would be suicide kind of. Now if I had a MP5 for example, it would be a different story, I would be more comfortable, but with a Thompson, hell no, I just waited out patiently till one of them came out again. So you might wonder right now why do you run away, I just try to relocate, wrap around and just heal up so I could basically mentally reset just, you know, let's not forget I'm solo, you know, because it makes it more comfortable for me.
Now, let me show you this part. Let me just learn something. You know, when I see somebody running at me from a far distance, I act like I run away, but I look back with alt and just keep... I, I just track him, you know? Like, I just see where he goes. Is he coming for me? Is he trying to lurk on me? Is he trying to flank me? So, I just try to wait and bait it out. I act like I don't see him and then, you know, just surprise attack him. Now in this part, I didn't immediately go for the bodies because, you know, I don't want to get flanked, you know, by another flanker. So what I did was I just went to the, you know, second guy I think that was in the forest, you know, get his body first so I'd, nobody takes his gun. And then I went back, you know, to get the other gun, just to be extra safe. The first AK guy that I killed, he kept coming back and trying to find me, also, also his body. Now he didn't come with his full kit again, so my initial thought was maybe they left her, his body, you know, and I could go back there. You know, there was a little surprise, you know, an extra snack for me waiting there. Oh, by the way, guys, please don't look at my base. It's just, it's it's a decoy base, okay? It's a decoy base. I'm not gonna lie, the server kinda died down after this, you know, people were kinda preparing for force wipe and after this I had some kills, I had like maybe like 10 more kills but they were all like one kill, just one kill, like one person, like, like this clip that you've just seen. It was just, it wasn't really spectacular, you couldn't really learn anything too much from it. So I'm gonna end the video here, I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Um, I do really want to do like uh, continue like the, the wipe after force. I'm going to put it up next week. I need to edit it as well. So if you enjoyed it, please give it a like. If you're new, subscribe, you know, if you want, of course. And I hope you learned something new from it. I like genuinely care about you guys and I love you. We're 22k subs and man, all I can say right now is actually see you next week. Peace.